Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Lightbeam's Treasures. It is, what is it? It is Wednesday, February 24th. Oof. I guess I could say I'm getting very, very scared, nervous, excited. There's so many things I'm feeling. Um, a lot is going to be happening this week. Maybe it's going to be too much and it's overwhelming. But um, let me tell you what's happening, and I think you'll find this exciting. So today... My husband is going to be picking up some furniture and some um, donations and some stuff that's being given over to us from a friend who has moved into a brand new house. And um, I'm excited about that because some of it is actually for our personal use. We're getting a brand new couch, which I'm, I'm a little sad about. I got to say bye bye to my old couch, but. Um, that was my very first item I ever bought when I moved out, when I first moved out of my house and moved on out on my own. Long story. But I mean, there's like, there's a sentimental attachment to the couch. But the fact is, my very first couch that I bought years ago, um, it completely caved in. You sit on it, the springs pop up. It's But it's one of those Ikea couches. They don't make it anymore. It's a, um, it's a five-person Ikea couch. That looks like a regular sofa. That thing is heavy. But it's at the point right now that when you sit on it, the springs pop up. Somebody's going to get hurt. Um, he had to pull out some of the springs. He had to put boards in. So it's like no longer a comfortable couch. So that's going bye-bye. Oh, we're, oh, we're getting a new couch. So I'm excited about that. Um, number two is my friend is flying in. Her flight is actually going to start tomorrow at noon which is Thursday. Okay, Thursday at noon, and she's going to arrive Friday night in the evening. So, it comes it 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 boils down to be a 36-hour flight, but for her she's losing 2 days. It's like really really strange. It, it's weird. Um with the time zone difference, literally she's going back in time about the time she gets here, but then when she leaves and goes back, she's going to be losing two days. So it's like weird. Do, 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 do. Anyway, so that's the plan for the week. Um, I still have a lot of cleaning and stuff to do, but I'm blabbering on. Um, other than that, I still feel like garbage. For those of you who saw my auction last night, ooh, I was in a weird mood. Yeah, my, my medicine hit me too hard yesterday. <laughs> Which is funny, because I was talking to somebody else, and they're like, that stuff does nothing for me. This medicine, I, I, I'm a lightweight when it comes to medicine. This medicine not only makes me drunk and loopy and stoned out of my mind, it literally makes me hallucinate. So, <laughs> I don't care. I, I was slurring my words. That was funny. Maybe, maybe now, but I'm feeling better. That's the good thing. I'm finally feeling better. People are saying, oh, you're starting to look better. You don't have, like, you don't look as bad as you were. And like, and the important thing is, like I said, I'm feeling better. The pain is starting to subside. I still have issues bending. Yeah, I can't bend down. <laughs> I can't bend down all the way. I still have issues bending, but it's much better than what it was. So that's a plus. But you came here for a very specific reason. What sold on eBay? I've got a weird item. I'm going to show you what this is. Very weird item that I actually sold. I'm looking for my list. Here's my list. And I'm looking for my stuff. All right. So, story time. This says the Wood Mouse family. So, I went to an estate sale, and this woman had her entire house covered in um, porcelain dolls. Now, I know porcelain dolls can be a great thing, but... Let's just say I try to avoid porcelain dolls unless I able to get a good deal or something. I could have gotten a good deal on these porcelain dolls, but it's a long sale. If you get porcelain dolls, some of them could go for really good money, but you're talking, it's going to be sitting there. And the fact is how you have to wrap up each individual hand and foot and face with a bubble wrap. And you need to be careful and all that other stuff. 
Um, they attract dust very easily, so it's hard to clean them and pick the dust off. So personally, I stay away from uh, porcelain dolls if I can. If I get them, then I get them and I try to sell them, and that's what I do. But I mean, I'm not specifically looking. So the story with this is, so I always go to an estate sale on the first day and the last day. Being is the first day, you're going to find the best stuff. The last day, they just want to get rid of it. And that's how I could fill my, my store up and with great stuff is on the last day. With this particular sale, the first day she had all the dolls. By the last day, the dolls were gone. But there was this box. And when I opened the box, I'm going to show you what this box is. Ah, I know, I'm building it up. They are Certificate of Authenticities for the Woodmouse Family Collection. So, obviously, she had a collection of 25 figurines. I'll read it. It says, this is to certify that the Woodmouse Family is a collection of 25 figurines by Pamela Simpson, crafted by fine Biscay porcelain and hand-painted. So, these are the Certificates of Authenticity for the collection. So now you're thinking, why would you do that? I sold this. Now, I sold this really cheap, um, considering what I paid for it. I mean, this was actually a throw-in, throw because when I was at the sale, it's like, oh, how much for the, the paper good? And I'm like, he's like, I'm going to toss those out. I don't know, I'll take them. <laughs> so considering these, um, I ended up selling this, and it was a sale, because I actually had it up for $15, but it sold for $11.04. So don't... um. Don't avoid paper goods, because like I said, I probably could have got much more. The weird thing is this is going to China, which what they're probably going to do is they're going to probably make the figurines and then just add the certificates and then charge them up for whatever amount. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. This was a sell. This is super light. It's going to cost about $4 uh, to ship. Sold it for $11. Made a great profit. I mean, it's a small profit, but it's something. Then um, I sold a bunch of movies. Now, here's the funny thing about the movies. I actually sold, remember I was telling you that if you have multiples of something, and if one item sells, for some reason it triggers true, 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 that multiples will sell. Well, that's what happened with Ski School. I sold not one, not two, but three of these yesterday. All for $8.99. So three of these is going out. One, two, three. Um, then I sold a movie called Black Water. Three tourists navigating the treacherous swamps of northern Australia are forced to fight their lives by a hungry crocodile that capsized their boat. Okay, so instead of it being like Jaws, do, 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 it's a crocodile. Whatever, it's a thriller, rated R, Blackwater. This one sold for $15. Surprised on that one. I have a feeling, though, that the person who got that is going to be a difficult customer. I think he's going to be one of those things that um, gets the movie, watches it, and then returns it. Because, yeah, that's one thing I don't like about my store. My store is a video rental store. I get a lot of people that do that. Is They'll buy the movie watch it, and then like, oh, I changed my mind. I do have uh, free shipping, free return shipping, which, yes, I lose money on it, but with the amount of INADs I was getting, item not as described, simply because they watched the movie and returned it, it's just better off for me to give the free shipping because then I don't get as many ticks on my account, if that makes sense. I hate it, but that's what happened. This one is Element of Crime. It is a Criterion collection. It's a Lars von Trier. 2000 Criterion. It features... It's a science fiction film noir thriller based, filmed in a unique sepia-tinted color in a post-nuclear war with an obsessed lawman pursues a psychotic child's murder. It's a um, Keynes Film Festival a winner. It's a Danish production that's produced in English. Ooh. This is something I probably would have been interested in watching. However, this is my one and only copy. Oh, well. $15.83 is um, what that one sold for. And that's pretty much it. I am happy I had an auction. 
yesterday. Um, I think I, I, I was out of it. I really was out of it. Um, I mean, towards the end of the auction, I was feeling better. But starting off the auction, I probably was mumbling. I probably was unclear. I have no idea. I thought I brought out some good stuff. Maybe my prices were too high, but I'll bring that stuff out on Thursday. Um, if not, it's going right up on uh, eBay. That's my philosophy. I try to I try to bring good stuff to the auction so I don't have to put it on eBay. <laughs> That's a lazy way, or maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Maybe I need to put it up on eBay, and if it doesn't sell after like 90 days, then move it to auction. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's more work. But... That is my story. So today it's going to be listing, listing, listing. I have no auctions tonight. I'm debating about maybe doing a pop-up, but I think I'm going to focus more on listing because if I could clean this area up and list and go a little crazy with listing, that should be a good thing. So with that, this is Melanie from Nightbeam's Treasures. Take care, everyone. And until next time.